Hi, I'm Kiara from Press and Peel, and today I'm going to guide you through how we can create a gang sheet with Adobe Illustrator. And it is ridiculously easy, so um, especially if you are already familiar with Adobe Illustrator. So I'm just going to dive straight in and uh, get to it. All right, so the first thing that you want to do is uh, open up any artworks or logos or designs that are in vector format that you have already created or received from your client. Uh, so I've got three here. So I've just got client logo, I've got a little sausage dog, and I have um, a kind of artwork motif um, that I am going to bring in. I also have a PNG and a JPEG that I'm going to bring in, but because they're not editable, I'm just going to place them into the file um, a little bit later. So I'm just going to first open up these. And the reason that um, I want to open up these uh, rather than just placing them into my file is just so that it can retain that editability. So, um, yeah, that way I can, you know, click and I can change colors as I'm moving throughout the file um, and I can just have the freedom to do that uh, from the outset. So now to create our actual gang sheet, we're just going to hit on file, new, and then let's just give this a name. We'll call this our gang sheet. Uh, and so in this dialog now, uh, over in this uh, right hand panel, if centimeters isn't selected, make sure you do select centimeters or you can use millimeters if you prefer. I'm just going to use centimeters to keep it easy. Uh, our gang sheets are 55 centimeters uh, by 100 centimeters in height. So just put that in the width and the height section here. Uh, orientation, keep that on portrait. That way you've got it 55 wide, uh, 100 long, and then up boards, just keep it as one. That way we're just working with the one single gang sheet per file. Um, bleed, you don't need to bleed on your file. Uh, and then uh, color mode, I would definitely recommend um, using CMYK color mode just because the inks themselves when things do get printed are in CMYK. Uh, however, you can use RGB if you do prefer. It's just a case of retaining consistency um, throughout your files. So for example, if today you create a file and you've got a specific color or, you know, logo or design in it, and then in, you know, three months time, you want to order that same thing again, when you're creating that gang sheet at that time, just make sure it's in the same color mode as what you used now. So if you use RGB now, use RGB then. That way it just keeps it nice and consistent for you. So we always prefer CMYK. Um, that's just kind of our blanket rule. It keeps it nice and easy and removes any guesswork. So I'm just going to use CMYK for this. And then I'm going to hit create. And now we have this screen, um, this artboard showing our big giant gang sheet that we can fill with anything that we want. So I am going to copy over. So I'm just going to hit command C and then command V and paste that into my gang sheet. And as you can see, it's retained each of the layers uh, so that I can edit that and change the colors as I wish. Uh, same with my sausage dog. Let's paste him in. And then our client logo. So let's paste that in as well. And then now um, my PNG and my JPEG, I'm just going to go file, place. I'm going to grab my PNG, grab the poster that I want in, and then I'm going to place those into my file. Awesome. So now I have placed um, images into my file. We want to make sure that those images become embedded and are um, not linked. Um, so what to, in, to do that, to check that that is done, all you have to do is click on your image and then up in the um, left-hand part of your screen, you'll see the name of your image. And so if it's embedded, this will say unembed. If that says embed, then make sure you select the embed option so that it embeds the image inside this artwork. Um, and then that way um, it, it's not going to get confused and try and look for it on a file that we don't have. So it's just easiest to make sure that it's always uh, embedded. So I'm just going to also do the same thing and check my PNG. Cool. So they are both embedded into this document. So um, Illustrator, the newer versions tend to do that by default, which is great. Um, so yeah, so just, but just giving that another check just to make sure, uh, make 100% certain is always the um, best thing to do. Uh, I'm also going to add um, some text. So I'm just going to type in uh, Kiki's sheet just as an example and then I'm going to stylize my text so if you do have any text that you want so okay so um, I'll choose this font 
Now I've finished, that's exactly how I want the text to be. Um, you just have to right mouse click on that and select create outlines and this converts your text into a vector shape. Uh, so make sure any text that you have written on your gang sheet that you um, do that, you select create outlines and turns it into a shape. Um, so now that we've got that, I'm just going to um, head up to the top here and just make sure that everything is the correct size that I want it to be. So I would like that text to actually be 10 centimeters. And I just want to check that this is 35 centimeters. It's actually 30, so I'm just going to alter that to be 35 centimeters. Okay, so then now what you can do is you can just go uh, a little bit wild and organize everything around your gang sheet as much as you want and try and fill up all of the space as much as possible because um, you've got the space there. You may as well fill it with everything that you possibly can. Uh, just leave yourself a little bit of room for cutting um, between each item. Uh, otherwise, yeah, just try and fill it up as much as possible. Uh, even if it's, you know, everything that you need, just duplicate whatever you can. It's always good to have some spares because you just never know how the pressing might go. Um, and yeah, so it's always just good, you know, oops, um, you may as well just fill it with as much as possible and really get that, uh, maximize that value, um, of your sheet. Um, so just going to copy paste and I'm just hitting command C and command F and that just kind of copies and then pastes everything in the exact same location as it was, um, before. So it's almost like a bit like duplicating. Okay, so that is my sheet. So usually I'd fill this a little bit more, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to leave it at that. So now what we want to do is, what you might notice is the background of this um, artboard looks to be white, however it is transparent. So what we want to do is just do a final check and make sure that we don't have any weird white bits, you know, sitting inside our artwork that are going to then print out and not be transparent. So um, if we just head up to view and then hit show transparency grid, you can now see the artwork exactly how it will be printed out. So because your films are transparent and then your artwork will be on on top just like this. So um, as we can see, everything looks like it is completely transparent here. So just give it all that final check over and that all looks great. So um, now before saving, I'm just going to do a couple of more checks. So, okay, I've outlined all of my um, text. I have embedded all of my images. I've double check all of the um, dimensions and sizes of all of my items. I'm ready to go. So now um, I'm going to save my um, gang sheet and you can save it as an EPS, an AI, PDF, um, or even a PNG. Um, avoid saving it as a JPEG because the JPEG will add a background color. So it will turn whatever's transparent into white. Uh, so we want to avoid that. So um, saving it as a PNG uh, is a good option, but just make sure that you are saving it to the highest possible um, PPI that you can um, if you're saving it as a, um, a PNG, so the highest resolution possible. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm just going to save this as a, um, uh, so I'll just call that gang sheet. I'm just going to save this as a PDF. So I'm going to hit save. Um, and then the best preset to use is the um, Illustrator default preset. And then when I'm saving, I just always make sure that Preserve Illustrator editing capabilities is checked. Uh, that just means that if I want to jump into this file again in the future, um, I can always edit it and it's not going to be flat and uneditable. So make sure that is always checked and enabled and you can edit your file as much as you want moving forward. Uh, so I'm just going to hit save on that and that's it. That's done. And then you will now be able to have a gang sheet ready to go, your artwork is ready, and you can upload that directly into our website to place any orders. So uh, that is the tutorial. I hope that was helpful. Um, and thank you for watching. Um, you can uh, give us a subscribe and a follow if you like, if you want to stay updated on different updates or other tutorials that we release. And you can also follow us on Instagram at Press and Peel and TikTok at Press Peel. So I will see you next time.